UV resin from uh, Greensoft World. Very handy stuff. Hello, this is BJ from Hearns, and I'm going to be looking at the Greensoft World UV resin. Now, the UV resin is quite a uh, new material, and it's used for making water effects, um, saliva effects, all that sort of wet, sort of gooey type stuff, and it's got a few other properties too. So we'll have a closer look. Now, it's available in three different sizes. So you've got a little 17 mil, and then you've got this one here, which I think is about 30 mil. And then there's the extra large one here, uh, which is 100 mil. So obviously, if you're going to be doing a lot of um, ponds that we're going to layer it on top of each other, then the larger one is going to suit you better. And then there's another one here, which is about 30 mil, and that one's got a, a fluorescent line uh, sort of color going through it. So it looks like um, a radioactive slime. Okay, so let's see um, how it works. Now, you'll need um, a UV torch to set the UV cured resin, obviously. So basically the material comes out um, as a liquid and it'll stay a liquid until it's actually cured with UV light. Now you could uh, put it outside and let the natural UV cure it, but it will take some time and you have less control. So that's very handy for one of these. Now you also need some gloves because you don't really want it curing on your fingers. It's going to feel quite awful. So put these on first. Let's start feeling like a surgeon, I think. Pop that on. And I'll just apply a little onto this little piece I've got there. So let's start off. I'll just open it up. So you just, you just have to push down on these caps because they're childproof. Keep it pressed down and it'll eventually come loose. Okay, so we'll just take it off by pushing down and unscrewing. And you've lifted that cap there. So that's a finer tip cap. If you want to get into um, a, a large area, you can sort of pop that off and you'll be able to get the, the bigger cap there. But just give us more control. So we'll just leave that there. Now this is as easy as just pouring it onto the surface you wanted and then curing it with the light. So let's try doing, say, the, the openings of the, uh, the skull's eyes. So I just pop in. As you can see it coming out. See how it's just bubbling up? So it's got a a thick consistency. Now the greatest advantage of this is you can let it sit there and it'll self-level. So you see there, it's pretty much flat now. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my torch here and we'll just cure it like so. So obviously the thicker it is, the longer it's going to take to cure, but I think that should be enough. Now, from the looks of it, I think it looks pretty solid. So you'll be able to see here, you see the reflections perfectly smooth reflection of water clear so you use this for making lenses as such so if you had a silicon mold you could pour this in your silicon mold and make copies and they'll be perfectly clear now once you've got that that's our first coating we could actually add some more and make that thicker like so Okay, so you see how that's level already again, and then hit it with the UV torch. Set it all up. Should be enough. So there you go. Very impressive stuff. Now you might notice that I've got a couple of air bubbles in there, simply because of the way of dropping it in one drop at a time. If you can pour it in with it, uh, connected on the side as a stream, there's less chances of getting any air bubbles. The other alternative is you'll let it sit there for a little while and the air bubbles will pop up by themselves over, over some time. Okay, so that's the obvious way of using it to start with. So that's a little puddle uh, or pond. And it's as easy as that. Now, if we want to do, say, 
a little drop you just put a drop here like so and if I want to make that look like a little drip you can shift that across like this so you can see how before it's cured it's very very wet you can you manipulate it to do whatever you like like so and we'll just hit it with a torch I'm going to do the, the end of my knife too and there you go that's all solid okay and it's very hard it's just like any other resin so really smooth and then you can actually cut this as well you can use this you can see how it's it's cutting it's actually peeled off a bit there actually that's all come off there so that's probably needs a little bit more this will probably happen a lot more on uh, really smooth surfaces too so if you're doing a pond on a uh, say uh, a diorama that wouldn't peel off like that but you can see how you could actually make drip marks by doing that as well okay so you can see how solid that is now now you can do drips quite easily so let's just apply one here so what you do is you apply a bit cure it apply some more and you can just keep on building this up until it looks like a drip so this is how you do saliva type effects on, on a beast like so, so you get your little drip effect there so you can keep going until that was really really long the other alternative is you use some um, uh, invisible thread which is a, a plastic clear thread and you can make a, a length first and then you can put a little drop on it and it'll look like a, a really fine drip now the other thing you can do with the, uh, the clear resin is it can act like a glue so you can just apply some to this bit here like that Just push on the end like that. Like so. Get it with a UV torch. And there you go. It's glued on. So a multitude of uses for this particular UV resin. You can use it for making extra material. Easiest thing is water effects, of course. You got a little pond, you just keep building it up. Little drip effects, like so. And then the green one obviously looks really good as um, a toxic uh, radioactive type water or liquid or goo. So there you go. That's the uh, UV resin from uh, Green Stuff World. Very handy stuff.